Okay, weird question, but okay, once it saves, let's go back and quit because I thought we selected to play as a character. So I want to do that for you guys. Buddy Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 24 of Spyro, a hero's tale for the Sony PlayStation 2. So, why are you're, you're probably asking, like, why are we here at the main menu? Well, we unlocked everything other than one of the eggs because it's just glitched. I went to go and collect it, and it would just phase through. And then the last light gem just wouldn't spawn. I think it's a <clears throat> an emulation issue. But we do have like the concept art viewer, so we have no idea what th I have no idea what these are. I oh is that like I don't I don't even know. Like is this what the game was supposed to be? Like if this is what the game was supposed to look like. Or maybe that was like the Sergeant Bird level, yeah. There's like the snow places and stuff like that. We got some bones, and then there's the last world there, like the last, I guess, home world type place. Yeah, uh, that looks like the volcano. This is weird concept art, honestly. It doesn't really feel like concept art, it feels more like just hand-drawn, like not even hand-drawn pictures, just like... Wait, what was that? Like, Sparks plus one health, Sparks keychain, shop teleport ticket, double gem value, horn dive, shockwave, like. There's the ammo, there's the teleporter, the gadgets. Um. Fly through it. Whatever this is, is super blurry. I don't even know why that's there. Weird, it's like... Some of the mini games, as well as like the ball gadget concept, there's the jellyfish enemies, the norks, the yeti, the fox, the crabs are actually kind of cute. The frog, that's not even remotely close how like any of these enemies ended up. Okay, those two ended up pretty much the same. Same with them. Uh, those guys only show up in Sparks things, the robot and the turtle. Rainbow Bear Felix 5 Pixie. That's yeah, actually kind of cute. The penguins, the crocodile and tiki dudes, the giants, some more random animals, the guys who are literally from Spyro 1, the spiders, the wizard. They're, they're called wizards, by the way. Got red, bats, blink money bags, some of the elders. So, honestly, nothing too cool. He's in prison. I hope they did like a comic book. And yeah, that's it. So we can also go to the character select, and I think we'll play as Ember. Uh, you can now play a new game or a load of save game as this character will remain active until you switch off of it. So, what we're gonna do is, yeah, we're 98% done. Like I said, we're only missing one of each. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive in, and we're going to go and take on Red. I forgot I was here. I forgot I was here. Can I leave this place, please? Oh my god, no. Why am I here? Also, wait, why am I Spyro? I thought we, uh... Wait, you cheated, game. Did you see that? He swung that like, oh. Oh, sucks to be you, I guess. Oh yeah, that was just a checkpoint. I'm fine with that. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, this part. I don't like this part very much. There we go. Woohoo! Uh oh why did I go this way? Oh yeah, I guess that way it didn't really mean anything, but... I always forget that's like a double jump spot. It's hard to remember when you don't play this game that much, outside of just recording it, you know? This place is kind of the safe spot. I love how I can't seem to grab that one gem, you know? There we go. And I believe that's, yeah, that's the last obstacle. So now we can just kind of speed race through it all. 
There we go. Now we should be able to take the teleporter away. Um. Okay, weird question, but okay, once it saves, let's go back and quit because I thought we selected to play as a character. So I want to do that for you guys. That's the whole point of character select. Like, shouldn't we be playing as Ember at this point? I don't know. Kind of weird that we're not. There we go! We're Ember! Alright. Uh, so we're gonna buy some full health. Wait, how do we use that exactly? How do we use the full health exactly? Eh, whatever. So we're gonna teleport back to the main zone of here, the Celestial Show. And we're gonna open up the door to fight Red. I don't remember how difficult this is, but this will be the final episode. Like, regardless of how it goes, this is the final episode of the game. Now I'll have to find other projects, because the Crash Bandicoot and Simpsons games I'm playing have issues, so I can't actually finish them, which is really, 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 really disappointing. Also, is this the door I need? I need the one over here, but I don't think... No, it's not open yet, so I need to go and find the switches. And... Do that. I think it's that one? I think it was that one over there. Yeah, we hit the right one. This should be to red. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, come on. I don't want to take damage now that... Uh, is this the right way? It is, but there's just enemies everywhere. I'm surprised he didn't punch me in the face or something silly like that, considering those little enemies always do. This guy's move so weird. Can you hurry up? Never mind, I'll just kill you. Same with you. And you. Oh, come on, man. Wait, what? There we go. Jeez. Those lasers you have, like, no time to get through. Uh, professor, I finally found you. What were you thinking going after Red? I don't know. I... I thought I could stop him after you had weakened him, but as soon as I got here, I was captured, locked in this lab. Red's forcing me to work on his new improved army. You know, better armor, extra brain capacity, that sort of thing. Oh, Spyro. I seem to have made things a lot worse. Hey, don't worry. I'll be out of here as soon as I... How cozy. So, Spyro, have you returned to fight me again? And do you think I will allow you to win this time? Yeah, whatever. You're not so much of a challenge. I'm sure I can do it again. Aw, oh, poor naive Spyro. You obviously don't know that I always get my way. Sir, I definitely don't have to fight a giant guy with a different type of health bar this time. Actually, I think it's the same type of health bar. Oh yeah, at least that attack's telegraphable. I'm also on like 2 HP because I don't know how to get back to full health. Also, I don't know what I have to do to... Actually, can I just... Oh. Oh god, that is annoying. Oh, come on. Oh, there's my health. Uh oh. Oh, this 
this is in wait why did he lose his um armor that's weird I don't remember this fight I remember the last red fight kind of not this one though That's like a third of his HP though. Oh, I bet you I'm gonna need each attack though. So I bet you Lightning Breath is next. So that's what I'm gonna stay on. So he should do the Stomp Maneuver. Oh, the Shockwave got a little bit bigger. Is this supposed to be harder than the, the first time we fight him? Because let's be real, I feel like he's easier. The only attack that's kind of annoying is the net Is not that one. Yeah, so now he's got uh, weird little bouncy bouncer things from Ratchet and Clank going on here. Uh. Alright, next is going to be Water Breath, obviously. Can I, like, push these away from me? Oh, he's just going to bring up more of the little balls. Like, those are literally the bouncers from Spyro 2, or Spyro 2, from Crash 2 onward. Alright, so it looks like his third attack is just kind of like based off of, I don't know, some other part of him going on. His foot clips, though. Oh no, it's that one again. Wait. It's the electricity again. Why is it the electricity again? That's weird. I was expecting to have like something a little more challenging than that. Also, he just kind of stands there and takes it like some kind of... Wait, what? I'm so confused. Why Why didn't he take any damage from that game? What is going on here? Is it because I already did more than two-thirds of his HP? And it just kind of like bugged out? Let's see if he's going to do... Oh, he's not doing that attack again. Oh, he's going to go that way now. This attack is pretty easy to telegraph. Which breath do we need now? Not that one, apparently. Oh, wait a minute. I see. It's not a breath at all. It's a power. And now he's just being shot by his own minions. Oh, okay. Interesting. This fight is just weird. Kinda wish I didn't have to waste my full health though. Like I said, these, most of these attacks are actually pretty easy to avoid. Okay, now things are starting to fall down a little bit more. Oh, now we got the missiles again. This is pretty easy, because he only shoots, technically he shoots four missiles. We only have to technically dodge three times because the way they were. Now he's probably gonna summon more minions, right? Uh oh god, I'm an idiot. There we go. Now they're all gonna turn and fire on him. That's such a stupid attack. Like look at that. Pew pew. Okay, hopefully this is the last time we have to do anything. Like, I don't get this fight. This fight is so weird. Also, I kind of wish they had chose different music. This music just doesn't feel that intimidating for what we're doing. They should have had a different theme. Because it's just the boss music for all of them. So, the bo it's the same boss music, it's the same, um, like, Sergeant Bird music, same Blink, Sparks, Hunter. It's always the same. Actually, I think Hunter just goes off of the world you're in. And let me guess, the same thing again for the umpteenth diddly time, because... Because why not? And there we go, that should be it, right? I hope so, because I'm almost dead. Kill him off, please. Come on, guys. We did it! Red is dead! I fixed the machine, Spyro, so hold on! I'll finish him off! Huh. <laughs> 
Oh no, he's gonna become a mole slave. Oh, and that's it, guys. We beat Spyro, a hero's tale, with the most underwhelming final boss. Or, I wouldn't say most underwhelming, because let's be real, Spyro 1 didn't really have that great of a final boss. Spyro 2 had a pretty decent final boss, though it was, I, I felt easier than the, the second boss. And then Spyro 4, or Spyro 4, Spyro 3 had technically two versions of the final boss, and the first one was alright, and the third, or, uh, second one was just kind of bad. It was just, like, you only had to hit her a couple of times, and yeah. So, I think we officially did everything. I don't think there is, uh, yeah, this is going to bring us back to the beginning. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this playthrough, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, to, uh, you know, join the Discord and the Patreon in the link below. You guys could have chose what game I played after this, but since you guys didn't, you know, donate the five bucks to the Patreon, we have to play whatever I choose. So if you guys don't end up liking it, well, I guess that kind of sucks. But anyways, um... Yeah, so I guess we get to look at Little Ember here one last time, and I will see you guys all next time for another exciting Let's Play playthrough. Until then, guys, bye bye and have a wonderful day. Oh, by the way, I give the game about a 6 out of 10. Little janky, little bad, the switching of the control scheme was unnecessary, but otherwise, not a bad game.